Finally, we partner with a group there that is an, uh, an awe-inspiring movement of God that's going on in that country called Hope for Cambodia's Children. This entire vast ministry of hundreds of thousands now started by one Dutch woman who lives there by herself. She's the only Westerner that works in this entire organization. The whole thing is, is Cambodian run. And they have... Tens of thousands of children every week that they educate in basic medical survival. You know, the fact that you don't drink this water without boiling it. Basic stuff like that. And then have also planted hundreds of house churches in the, prog- in the process of teaching health practices in ignorance-plagued villages. We've recently become involved in Haiti. We're partnering there with uh, World Relief, which has tied into a series of minutes. Haiti is a blighted, here's just off our shore, almost you know, within sight. One of the po- poorest countries in the world. Desperate poverty there. And so we're going in there and sending mostly short-term trips down of groups of people with money and tools to help build infrastructure, which is completely lacking there, and also to work in the health field, are the two that we have so far become involved in. And I think this is just now developing in the past uh, year and a half, so we'll see. I think there will be quite a number of opportunities. And it's a lot cheaper to go to Haiti for a short term than it is to go, you know, to some place like Cambodia or, or one of the other places that we go, so... We should be able to direct more of our funding to actual work with the poor there. We operate a lot of short-term trips and missions, and this is part of our mission effort. Some of you are going on a short-term trip this summer. Some of you have been on one before. The reason we do this is mainly to make people aware of the extent of the need in these countries, which you simply have to kind of experience it to believe it. An American that walks the streets in these places for a couple of weeks is just never the same again. You just can't look at life the same way again. And we think that pampered, wealthy Americans need to see this. We need to understand that there is another world there, way more numerous than our own world, that we're this bizarre, you know, a, a privileged elite in the world today. And we have to let that fact trouble us. What we're really, we do get a chance to help on these trips. We get involved in a project that helps people. We do some teaching. We often help them build um, maybe houses or other things that they need. But the main point is to raise up future goers and senders. That's really the reason we do it, is to give people a vision for you know why we do this kind of thing and why it's worth our time and our money so that we become a mission-minded church. We need that. We need to be a mission-minded church. I hate this idea of the wealthy American church that's just all about itself, you know? And everything's about the image and the uh, fame of the group. And very little comes out to help anyone outside of that church. I think that's corporate selfishness. I think that's censurable in the extreme. It's not enough for us to give to each other. You know, Jesus said that you love those that love you. You think that's good? He says non-Christians do that all the time. That's what non-believers do. That's nothing. The point is to get outside of those who love you and to help the other people. 